Hello everybody, welcome to another video about the Lord of the Rings LCG. I am Ryan, joined by Joseph. How are you doing, Joseph? Long time, no game. I know, it's been, what, like five, six weeks since we recorded? It's been ages. You've been all over the world, too. I have, yeah. I don't know whether I should go into that now or save that for the podcast. What do you want? Well, podcast. All right. Can take the beating better. <laughs> The podcast doesn't really need to get any longer, let's face it. The podcast is long enough. A good two and a half hours of me detailing all my journeys across Middle Earth. We can take it. Yeah, that'd be enough for anybody. Just more editing for Liam. No, no. No more editing for Liam, the poor guy. He's overworked, underpaid as it is. Well, yes, I, I was in the UK for two weeks, and then I was in Singapore for a week, and then I was completely overloaded with work for about two weeks. But now the teaching semester's finished, and I know anybody who works in you know, academia or the teaching profession, I think Dave Walsh mentioned it on today's card talk. He said he's been busy right. with teaching. So yeah, anybody in this line of work will know this time of year is horrible. But we're getting through it. So almost back to normality. Got our new adventure pack, the last one of the... They're in Mithrin cycle today, too, so it looks like we got some good Lord of the Rings ahead. Good. I should get that in about six weeks' time, probably, Ooh. over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, enough about that pack. What are we doing here? Because we're playing an old quest. Three Trials. Yes. Nightmare version. And I've forgotten why we're playing this. Was it Quest of the Week? Yeah, it's Quest of the Fortnite, like, a fortnight and a little bit ago. <laughs> right, okay. We need to play catch-up on all of these quests that we're not playing um so we had a discussion about this because i've tried this many times in solo and i haven't put much effort into the deck that i've made to beat it but every time i've um, tried it in solo it's just creamed me like first turn loss it's um, pretty intense yeah i yeah. played it probably five six times last couple of weeks and didn't ever beat it <laughs> as you so. said to me yesterday it's well known for being tough in solo, but in Nightmare in solo, I think one card that you're not prepared for at the beginning just ends you, unless your deck yeah, can handle the it. punish you, and there's a lot more enemies. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see those in the course of this game, because we are going to play at Nightmare, as we always do with these older quests. Um, and the decks that we're using before we go into the quest itself, they're kind of based on the next episode of Three is Company, right? These choices. Right, we recorded an episode talking about monosphere decks, which I haven't done much with for a long time. So, mm, me neither, except for that mono lore deck I played. Can't remember. Oh yeah, 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 control deck. Yeah, somebody else's deck. But you've played this leadership deck before on YouTube. I realized you played this one against Fire in the Night. Something similar. Yeah, I was just fiddling with it for a long time, and I finally published it. So this is the firmed up version. Um, just a lot of <laughs> the what version <laughs> solidified <laughs> modified. The, the finalized version finalized is get your mind out of the gutter <laughs> sorry <laughs> anyway it just has a lot of good cards in it I really like Gildor solves the whole card draw issue for leadership mm. I'm not ashamed to use those big uh, the resource acceleration cards like steward and hopefully it'll perform tonight. Mm, can I have a little look in your deck here? I'm sure it'll perform once it gets firmed up, just to keep the little theme going there. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one card I really like in this deck is Strength of Arms. I mean, everybody loves that card when it hits the table, but uh, it's just so good. Yeah. This isn't a swarm deck per se, but the allies that I get out hopefully will be good enough that... And then your allies are awesome, so hopefully it'll have a big impact. Mm, I feel like you could show up to any four-player game, whack this card down on the table, and everybody will smile and be very happy and be your new friend. Nobody should complain, yeah. No. <laughs> um, I'm just looking at your deck. So you've got some big attachments, Ancestral Armor, Armored Destroyer, Sword That Was Broken. Anything else that worth drawing attention to? Uh, I have some one-ofs, um, like Day is Right. No, I can see no, Second Breakfast here. Yeah, that's just to get one more sneak attack out of Gandalf. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and um, uh, Air of Mardale? Mm-hmm. That can get extra actions out of Aragorn for free instead of paying for it. I got the Dazed Rising. 
get extra resources from Urkenban for doing what he's already doing, and I got Sword of Numenor, get extra resources out of Aragorn to do what he's already doing. But where are all the cards for you to pass resources around? I'm not seeing them. Ah, oh, that slipped my mind. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> oh, well, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, um, I, I've i gone for... I built this kind of as a solo deck, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, it works as a solo deck, then. Yep. I beat the entire Harad cycle with it. Nice. And what do you got over there? Uh, well, I have gone for Mono Spirit. And um, I guess this is a bit boring. I'm playing Caldara. I have not played Caldara since the Arata. So that's why I decided to give it a go. I think the trouble with Caldara, <laughs> to start on a negative, is it's really hard to play it without playing Arwen. I think I think we're going to have to yeah. shelve Arwen for a while soon. Because she's You've too... Used her a lot. I have, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit dirty about it. She's the new steward. So she's going to have to go back in the box for a while. But I felt like when I was putting this together, I mean, it's very similar to Seastan's Caldora 2.0 deck. I, I really tried to use a different hero than Kirdan, but I think because your deck is quite uh, combat-oriented, although it does quest relatively well, because you said it can handle solo, I really wanted to just <laughs> handle the quest inside of the game and let you deal with all mm -hmm. the, the bad stuff. Uh, so Kirdan's four willpower and readying of allies as well is, is very difficult to get away from in a Caldora deck because he, he is that good. But also with Arwen, just that extra resource, she opens up so many possibilities, like first turn Prince Imrahil. I felt like I was just playing suboptimally on purpose if I chose not to use her. So given that we're playing Nightmare, I, I thought, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll run her this time. But yeah, um, I, I, I've enjoyed looking at Kaldara again. Like I said, it's kind of similar to Sea Stands, although I'm not using Steward because you've got it. Um, I feel like it, kind of builds itself a little bit. You just put all the good allies in <laughs> and and test of will. Um, yep. <laughs> that's really, if you're going to do anything different to what he did. So it's pretty straightforward right, deck. Your deck work here, just get that huge group of allies out one time. Mm. It's awful good. And it's kind of hard to imagine yeah, doing that over and over again. And it's effective. You know, thinking that was balanced. <laughs> yeah, it's effective. I, I do miss that because it was so fun. Here yeah. it feels like now there's there's basically one decision point, which is when do I right. trigger Kaldara and which allies do I want? And after that, it's basically play one ally every turn, and that's about it. Yeah. And maybe get a ready with Kiran. No, nowhere near as exciting as spamming out four every <laughs> round or whatever it used to be. <laughs> um, I guess there are some differences here that I've made for this quest. One is I've got lots of unique allies. That's another reason I actually chose Kaldara, because right. this quest is known for non-unique hate and there are a few treacheries and i think shadow effects in this version yeah let me pull out that notable shadow yeah so a lot effect. of these allies that i'm running are, are uniques because spirit have got a lot of good unique allies but i'm running a few new cards like this wild stallion is really good for glorfindel and jubeir and it's also good for a lot of your allies um, but the other one i think that may be unusual is the lorian guide from the core set because there's some horrible locations in this and I found in solo, I get location locked as well as murdered by the enemies. <laughs> so I've tried to cover um, both bases. Well, you're covering the enemy's base, but I'm covering the sort of questing and location killing base with Lorian Guides and the Ravanian Outrider. Northern Tracker is a good pick for this quest as well, because there doesn't seem to be any sort of hate for putting progress right. on locations. Uh, so so the Nightmare ones have five and six mm. progress points, which are pretty bad. But some of the just standard locations are pretty difficult to get through too if they start to combo and they only have three progress so a little bit of location control goes a long way. I'll just hover this card then so this is a new nightmare treachery trial of ancestors I won't read the when revealed I'll just read the shadow if the defending character is not unique attacking enemy gets plus 10 <laughs> attack <Wow>. that is sorry <laughs> so um, there probably are some allies who can survive that you know souped up Guardian of Esperoth yeah that's about it. Uh, Guardian of Arnor, maybe? Oh, if you've yeah, got enough enemies sure engaged. Uh, maybe a sentry with Ancestral and a Hallberg and a Ready off Kirdan. Maybe <laughs> yeah. could do it. I, I'm not sure what his stats would be. But yeah, Gar um, Guardian of Esgroth could definitely do it. Uh, I think he'd only take four damage or something. <laughs> yeah, he'd yeah. still be alive. Casual four. <laughs> so that's our deck. Should we get into the quest? 
All right, you can do all the explaining Yay. here. This There's a lot of explaining. Lot of well, I'll do it quickly. So I'll hover the Nightmare card and just to reflect on what they've taken out. So they've taken out these three Spirit of the Wild, but there's still two of those in there. So they're the guys who get extra stats for each of these keys that you've collected. So they're fairly tame early game, but I think they hit for four in the late game. Okay. And they've replaced them with lots of Nightmare enemies themed around the Guardians, which we'll see, I'm sure. Um, mm -hmm. And then the other cards they've taken out are pretty benign, I think. That turned around treachery was annoying from memory, but it wasn't that bad. Right, I remember. So I'll flip it and lock it. So a couple of things on this Nightmare card. One is that each engaged Guardian enemy contributes its threat to the total threat in the staging area. So I feel like that makes the early game harder. Yep. And the second part of this is, while the Trial of Intuition is a current trial, each Guardian enemy cannot be damaged, and each Barrier location cannot be the active location and is immune to player card effects. So the Trial of Intuition is the one that everybody does first normally, because it's sort of the right. questy one. It's the easiest one. So again, this makes the early game harder, I feel. Yeah, you're stuck with the Barrel and the Guardian all the way through the counter deck, which mm. can be punishing. So on the subject of Barrows and Guardians, we've got them laid out here. I put time counters on them for one, two, three, because you need to pick them randomly. Uh, I won't read right. all their text out. We'll do it as we go along, if that's all right. Otherwise, this will be the longest yeah. intro ever. Uh, <laughs> but I think the key thing to draw attention to is probably the fact that the combination of these really affects the difficulty of the quest. So, right. for example, if you get the one where it's raising your threat by X, this one, the Stone Barrow, every time a Guardian enemy attacks, raise each player's threat by X, in combination with, yeah, the Raven's Guardian, who's three threat, as opposed to the Boar Guardian, who's one, is way harder. So, if you get this one with this one, it can be difficult to yeah. and higher deck. If you get this one last, which caps the number oh. of allies you can have in play, that's bad. And so I'll say at this point, we've practiced this twice, and both times we've had softballs... <laughs> So yeah, we've had this barrow, <laughs> yeah, we've had this barrow first, which is great for Kaldara because it means we can just get through that first stage and then I can spam, hopefully. Right. Uh, and we've had fairly tame enemies when we needed right. them. It's been favorable, so I think we're due a tough one. Bring it on. Mm. Oops, I didn't see that. You did. So what was on? <laughs> what was on the other side? It just tells you to. Set everything aside, just right? Set everything aside, yeah. Uh, let me read it. So set up, set aside all three guardian enemies, all three key objectives, all three barrel locations, and hallowed circle, which is over here. And then we choose where we go, I think. When revealed, the players advance to a stage 2A quest of their choice. So we should probably do our hands before we do this as well, by the way. Right. So your first player, so I'll let you go first. I'll shuffle. What are you and... looking for? I look for either Steward or um, Galadriel. Which of these cards is going to help you get firmed up the most? Um, Galadriel, gonna, probably. Get away from that, am I? <laughs> no, you're not. You've <laughs> had your meat out. You're getting it firmed up. Stop it. <laughs> okay, I think I'll just keep this. I have Air of Mardil and Steward, so I can get W's out of Aragorn right away. Nice. Start drawing cards with Gildor. I have two Gandalfs, no sneak attacks, but should build it mm. to do my deck. One will show up. I'll keep it. Okay, I'll draw my... Oops, I drew a card. I will shuffle that one back in. Even though it's tester wheel, I kind of want that. Let's draw my six. Uh, what I'm looking for is Prince Imrahil, because I want to get him out early so I can get an extra ally out of Kaldara and didn't get him, so I think I'm going to mulligan. There he is, and I've got some big nice. allies in hand too. Jubeir, Glorfindor, and a Ravania Outrider. That's good. Okay, so we were in the middle of that reveal but i didn't ask what you're drinking that might upset some people if we don't know <laughs> i am most of the way through obsidian stout already whoa sounds tough local to shoot brewery mm. i got myself a little tipple here to join the party what do you got there? got the usual flavored vodka with the only thing i could find in the apartment which is some sort of energy boost juice combination Ugh. so um one thing's waking me up one thing's slowing me down so i'm hoping i'll meet in the middle that's how you fry your brain yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> vodka red bull is notorious for that all right okay so um what do you usually go to when you play this now in nightmare we've still been doing the trial of intuition but it's certainly not 
uh, that's not automatic anymore just because you're stuck with the combination of Barrow and Guardian from the very beginning. Mm. So, uh, but I think we should still do it. What do you think? I think I'm happy with that choice. Uh, I should be able to get some allies out by turn two, I hope. No promises. <laughs> uh, okay, so Trial of Intuition. When revealed, randomly choose one of the remaining set-aside Guardian enemies and one of the remaining set-aside Barrow locations. Reveal them and add them to the staging area. So do you want to do that now before I read the rest? So Random number yeah. for the Guardians so is one. One. So we got the Boar Guardian. Big man. And then we have a random Barrow. Which will number be... Three. Come on, number two, number two, number two. Oh. Oh, number three. I goofed up uh, the guardian thing. I only did one to two, so I'm going to do that again. Oh, I see, yeah. I don't know why I did that. Two, okay, so the the wolf's guardian. Ew, that's worse. So what's <laughs> that? So we've got the stone barrow. After a guardian enemy attacks, raise each player's threat by X, where X is that enemy's threat. And yeah, we've got the wolf's guardian, so he's two threat, so he's going to be doing two threat to each of us every time he attacks that is you know it's one threat but it does make all the difference uh, yeah, so this five attack that's yeah, this guy, rough with, yeah. I don't have any five attack turn well, one is well. nasty uh, so he cannot have non-key attachments time three and force after the last time counter is removed from wolf's guardian it makes an immediate attack against the engaged player place three time counters on wolf's guardian yeah, you need an attachment for Urkenbrand pretty sharpish. I do. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do we do? Shuffle the encounter disco part into the encounter deck. That doesn't do anything. Find the set-aside key objective that shares a trait with the just-revealed guardian enemy and it's shuffle it into the bottom ten cards of the encounter deck. That's not difficult not to go on at all. Frantically clicking over here. Yeah, no worries. All right, ten cards in the secondary encounter deck. Put the key in, shuffle it. Shuffle it again and move to encounter deck bottom. Can tell you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times this week. <laughs> um, all right, we're all set. Yep, yeah, and then 2B. So each guardian enemy engages the first player. Anytime players would place progress on this quest, discard an equal number of cards from the encounter deck. Instead, progress is placed on the active location before triggering this effect. And then when the players control the current trial's key objective, add all guardian enemies and barrier locations in play to the victory display and immediately advance to a stage 2A of the player's choice. If all stage 2 quests have been defeated, advance to stage 3A instead. So we're already up against 4 threat in the staging area. Right, because this guy is threat counts. Yes. Alright, so we go. All right. Okay, I don't want to forget my Kirdan here, so I draw an extra card and discard one of them. I will discard Elven Light. <laughs> Over nice. to you. All right. I'm really not excited about getting hit by this wolf so many times. So I'm first. I'm going to draw to see if I can find a Hawberk. Nope. We have a couple of dudes you could throw under the bus, at least, if you have to. Yeah, they're all expensive, but yeah. And I'm going to put this out just in case we get another enemy. If we do, I'm probably going to get eaten alive, but... Okay. That's it. Well, I can always call Dara if I have to for one ally. <laughs> uh, I will... Put Jubair in the Throw disco bar. In the trash, yes, yeah. I will. And I'll play Prince Imrahil. And that is going to be it for me. All right. So I think I'll just quest with my heroes and maybe hold back Imrahil and see what this does. So okay. I've got nine there. I'm going to put in Gildor, but I think I'll keep Aragorn out. Okay, so There's a location that makes us exhaust a character or a hero, mm -hmm. and he can take a hit if he needs to. Okay. Well, we're up by eight, so that seems all right on turn one. I think so. Let's find right. out. Here comes the pain. Okay. We have a cursed forest. Uh, travel. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spirit enemy and add it to the staging area. So that's a three. 
So this is a weird way to try to get that key further up into the deck. If you do that, mm. you get to shuffle the deck and you might see it earlier. And another nightmare card. We have Sacred Forest. Three threat, five progress. While Sacred Forest is in the staging area, each guardian enemy gains force. After an after any number of time counters are removed from this enemy, heal two damage on it for each time counter remove. Travel, remove each time counter from an enemy and play to travel here. I was having a bit of difficulty reading that, sorry, I couldn't see it very well on my screen. Um, it's not too bad, this, but it's the attack, because you have to take the time counters off, and that will make right. him do an attack, so we definitely don't want to do that, right? Nope. Still, we survived. We made two progress. All right, so we can discard two cards. And then... Do you want to go ahead and go to that cursed forest? Uh, you have to get a spirit enemy. Bring out a weenie. Is there a weenie? Oh yeah, there is a weenie. Yeah, okay. Another shuffle the counter deck, which <laughs> they shouldn't leave those weenies in there. <laughs> they should. It feels it's good. <laughs> so up. here's the weenie. So what we got? Spirit of the wild. Um, cannot have attachments. Never noticed that one before. But he gets plus one threat and attack for each key objective the player's control. So right now he's a one one. Right. He will engage, okay. though. I'll engage him. I can use my Destrier. Okay. And this is where it's going to hurt. Okay. I'm going to defend the Spirit of the Wild first. Mm -hmm. uh, if attacking enemy is a Guardian, deal it two additional Shadow Cards for this attack. It is not. And I'll discard this card. Okay. And then I take two damage out of that. Actually... I think I might defend with Aragorn. Mm, I thought you might. Because you know he can survive. Uh-huh, and it keeps my defender a little bit fresher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and can't do any damage, but I'm not dead, and that's always good. That is always good. It's a good start. <laughs> okay, you got another ally. Uh, I drew Dwarven Tomb and Lorien Guide. I'll dump the Lorien Guide. Well, on the subject of Lorien Guides, I might play one, <laughs> which wow. I have not done for a long time. I could also play that Outrider, I think. Oh, and... we forgot our threat. Oh, yeah. Stone Barrel. Yeah, okay, so another two. Thanks. Oh, and the time keyword goes off, so he will move over to me now. Might need your help to defend it, though. Uh, right, I will chuck away Glorfindel, I think. Now you're ready for a Kaldara move. I am, yeah. I would get three allies, and I think there are three in there. Jubair, Lorien Guide, and Glorfindel. We were talking offline about whether or not it's optimal to put in Glorfindel with Kaldara, considering that you can pay for him when he's in your discard par. I'm still not decided. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of annoying, because you can get him out of there, but... He's so good. It's really tempting to do it anyway. I might go for the Outrider so I can start putting some progress on this. What do you think? Sounds good. Okay. Yep. Let's do that. And I am done. I have Shadow Cancel okay. at least. I'm going to draw a card looking for that Hobbit. Nope. <laughs> the big guys All are right. queuing up. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I could put Air of Mardell out and then I could get some extra. Or I could just put Gimli out. I think I'm just going to put Gimli out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tank that chud for a while. That's true. Or go under right. the, under the uh, Wolf's Guardian pain train. <laughs> Although, looking at the, the Knight of the White Tower can take a hit from that if it's got no shadow card. That's true. Yeah. Maybe I should save up for him instead. I don't know. Well, you can play him next turn. I have to... No, I can't. It takes a turn to save oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to pay for it from a single res uh, serum hero's resource pool, sorry. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to back up then and do this instead. Right. I'll That's have good. one on Aragorn. Yeah, he can still tank the weenie anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I will go for 2, 4, 8, 11. And I'm hitting that for 1, which is why the Outrider's 2. You're doing 3. Mm -hmm. So that's 14 against 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah, it is a bit. Should I put Imrahil in? Um, let me put Aragorn in. Okay. Sure. Oh, I guess you have another defense, so. Yeah, I do. Okay. I have three defenses. 16 to 7. All right. Oh, that was good. <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> that was very good. So that progresses us, doesn't it? Because it does. As soon as that's revealed, uh, the first player must claim it. Ugh. <laughs> what if I put that on Kaldara and then throw her away? Then we'll go back into the middle and we have to claim it again. Right. If Key of the Wolf is discarded, add it to the staging area. If unattached, the first player must claim Key of the Wolf. Yeah, all right. I'll do that then. <laughs> One of our practice games, I was a little careless, and I ended up with all three keys, mm. which was a little awkward at the end because I had to fight all the bad guys at once, and we have no ranged. <laughs> what I'm going to do is put them all on her and then send her off pack in when you're not ready to defend all three guardians. Uh, they're going to <laughs> no. them all to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'll make it hard. Anyway, that progresses right, us now. immediately, doesn't it? Yeah, which one do you want to do? Strength or... Uh, push or fear answers. Yeah, well, we can get rid of that. Goes to victory display, doesn't it? Yeah, nice. Uh, I think maybe perseverance. Yeah. I don't quite remember what it does, but I think it's the location-y one. I think so, yeah. Okay, so the trial of perseverance. When revealed, randomly choose one of the remaining set aside barrier locations and add it to the staging area. Then, randomly choose one of the remaining set aside key objectives and attach it to that barrier location. So we've got a two. So that's going to be the cave barrow. That's okay, because we've only got mm -hmm. three allies. Um, and then we pick a key, a one, so it's the boar. Find the set-aside guardian enemy that shares a trait with the key objective in play and reveal it, adding it to the staging area. And I believe the other side says the same about the guardian. He engages the first player, all that stuff. Yep. Uh, Guardian enemies cannot be damaged or leave play except by quest effect. When the players control the current trial's key objective, add all guardian enemies in play to the victory display and immediately advance to stage 2A. Yes, yeah, the same thing. So that was the first card revealed. So we've got one more card. That's true. Still in the middle of staging. Uh, trial of Ancestors. When revealed, attached to the current quest, counts as a condition attachment with the text, each non-unique character gets minus one willpower and cannot attack enemies that share a trait with the current trial's key objective. Um, so that goes on the main quest, but when we complete this one, that will go away, won't it? Yeah. Good. So I lose one willpower on my Outrider. Right. So we make eight. That means we just clear the location. Oh, oh one second, right. maybe not, because I need to recalculate this guy. So it's actually one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we make eight. Eight, okay. Fine. Five useless progress on a quest card. Uh, travel to the barrow, <laughs> then? We're going to just chug right through this. I think we might, yeah. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, though. Yeah. All right, and then combat. And I'll defend... Mr. Pig. Okay, he's hitting for four here. Uh, if attacking enemy is a guardian, it makes an additional attack after this one. Well, rather than damage him, I could use Hasty Stroke. That works for me. Yeah, all right. Because that keeps the damage off of Urkenbrand then. Yep, I already took one from that four. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have the Redwater Sentry. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, if he, what if he gets the plus 10 shadow card? <laughs> that would be amazing. Then it'll be funny. <laughs> um, I didn't see what he got, but it was nothing. Yeah, nothing. It was blank. Good. Uh, I cannot do anything to this guy, so yeah. just tickle him. I don't that, think you can kill him anyway. No, I can't. <laughs> Even if I Kaldarad for something, it wouldn't do anything. Um, so I've got a Wild Stallion there and another card, Unexpected Courage. I'll put the Stallion in the discard pile. I got my hauberk. Mm. I'm to four. That feels a lot better. And then I can put out. Um, shall I do this? Should I put one of these out, or do you want room for an ally? Uh, well, the Boros Guardian is with you now, okay. uh, and he's 
Now you might want to think about that, Sheik, because oh, when the time goes off, so this Tony's going to lose that time counter, and that's going to affect me, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you have to lose ally. Unless we actually clear the cave barrow, which is not impossible. Uh, it's pretty likely, actually. Mm. Yeah. I could play out this Lorian Guide and put one progress on it, but that's a bit of a lame move. I'm, I'm more tempted on Unexpected Courage on Urkenbrand, to be honest. What do you reckon? Right, I did my turn. I'll just put my knight out. Go All, right. And... All right. I drew into my sword that was broken, which is nice. I think I'm going to Kaldara then try to get through that location. I can get in Jubair, a Lorian Guide, and a Wild Stallion and put the Stallion that on That means Jubair. I'll get two keys. You will, you? Oh, yeah, you will. That's all right. You're the tank. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That, that's. Well, I don't have to. I can wait a turn. If you do the. Kaldara, you're going to pull three out. You're going to have to... Yeah, we'll be at right at five. It's okay with me. We'll be at five? No, we'll be at more, more than five. Because I'll Imahil put in... will turn into a hero. Yeah, but I'm putting in three, you and you've six, got two. Yes. Yeah, so I'll wait then. I won't do that. Uh, I will play this Lorian Guide. Should I play Lorian Guide or play Unexpected Courage? Uh, the Guide. One, two, three. So even though she quests for zero, she'll still hit the active for one. <laughs> That's true. So it's, it's something. Um, actually, what I should have done there is drawn a card with Elven Light before I did that, just so I could chuck it away again. Mm, so ahead. that was suboptimal, really. Should I just draw a card then? Because I should have done that. Yep. There we are. Okay. Done. All right. Quest for five. One, four, eight, ten. I'll probably do 12 and try and get through it. So 17, hitting Ping the active for these, one. Right? Yeah, and hitting that for one. I'm just checking the active's not immune. No, it's not. Right. No, nothing's immune to player card effects. And we're looking at okay. one, two, three. He's actually hitting for two now. Uh, four, five, six. This guy doesn't count <laughs> in the station area. Yes, so you're right. Four in Thanks. the station area. All right, here we go. Another one of them. Ticklers. And a newbie. So we got a Raven Spirit. Three threats, three attack, three defense, four health. If Raven's Guardian is in player in the victory display, each Raven enemy gets plus one threat. And force at the beginning of the encounter phase, Raven Spirit engages the player who controls key of the Raven or is engaged with Raven's Guardian if able. So, he is not in the victory display or in play. And he's right. threat, which is yeah. nice. So he did the wolf. If we progress, he will engage, because we'll have that raven. Yeah, out. I think we, we're going to be progressing, because we're up by eight. <laughs> so just to point out the design they've made here, the raven spirit buffs uh, each um, little extra undead guardian light guy buffs the worst stat or the strongest stat of the guardians like the raven his threat is the highest so this one buffs his threat mm -hmm. the boar underling guy buffs the plus defense. defense because he has four defense mm. and the uh, wolf one buffs his attack so they get their worst <laughs> stat even higher it's really nasty all right, so how much progress do we get? Uh, eight, because I think we had 17 and there's nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from the Boar's Guardian. All so right. Don't clear this barrow, which means I can call Dara <laughs> and send them all to you. Of course, I can <laughs> wait if we don't need her. Okay, key of the Boar on Gildor. So another tip here is to spread the keys around as well, because there's an yeah. attachment that does something to a hero if they've got a key on them. Okay, so we're going to Trial of Strength now. Yeah. It's like one turn each trial. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, remarkable at the moment, but we might get Swarm because we're going to have four enemies in play. 
Yeah. So the trial of strength. When revealed, randomly choose one of the remaining set aside guardian enemies and one of the remaining set aside barrow locations. Reveal them and add them to the staging area. Find the set aside key objective that shares a trait with the just revealed guardian enemy and attach it to that enemy. This one's all about killing the enemy. Right. Which I don't think we want to do <laughs> right yet. No, we should uh, slow down a little mm. bit before we go. <laughs> Each face guardian them all. enemy engages the first player. Barrow locations cannot be the active location and are immune to player card effects. So we can't travel to this hill barrow, uh, which is forced. When a guardian enemy attacks, deal it one additional shadow card. So we've got this um, Raven's Guardian. Thankfully, he's the lowest attack. Yep. So he's sort of the least threatening, but that deal one damage thing is not nice. I can take it, but let's see. Mm, I can't I take it. Ooh, he yeah, he yeah. should be on time four, so he'll go one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, shall we travel? I don't think we should. I don't think we should either. No. I could take the damage, but... Aragorn wouldn't be too happy about that. No, I, I don't think he would. You need your remedy. So at the beginning of the encounter phase, this guy is going to come down to me. Mm -hmm. And then I suggest you take the other one. You. Maybe? Are you going to come I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. I've got no way to defend it, so, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see some Kaldara magic. Okay. I'll send her packing. Pewsh. And that sends the key of the wolf to the station area, which means you're going to get it. Sorry. <laughs> and then Imrahil becomes a hero. So I'll give him a resource token. And then I get to put in three allies. So I will put in Jubeir, funnily enough. And I, I kill this thing, Spirit of the Wild. Again, this is that Glorfindel issue do i put in glorfindel for free or do i put in a lorian guide for free i think i'm gonna go with glorfindel <laughs> yes i think so and i'm putting in that wild stallion because i want to put that on jubair yeah it's a planning action yeah. though so i can't do it yet okay done all right i got my extra shadow card in the raven guardian i am going to Defend the Raven Spirit first, I think. If this that attack thing. destroys a character, remove a time counter from an enemy if able. And then I'm going to discard, I guess, one of these. And I'll defend him. Okay, nothing. And then I'll defend the Spirit <laughs> Wild. Uh, uh, yeah, no shadow cards. I can see you're trying to get the plus 10 to go off. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, and then I'll do uh, Jubair here and just discard his shadow card, so no damage. Yeah. Nice. There's that wolf spirit. Not very pretty. Alright, I really can't chip these guys at all right now. I can chip mine for two. Wild Stallion. Nice. Glorfindel Rider and Stallion. Fight him. Mm. All right, next turn. Time counter off. And that uh, thing's going to come to me, isn't it? The Raven Spirit will come to you during the encounter phase. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm ditching Ravanian Outrider to Kirdan. And I'm keeping Test of Will. Right. I think I'm going to attach this onto Jaber. Although I don't, I don't necessarily need to. I'm going to draw a card first. Because I really don't have much to play. Naria, that's good. That's very good. Light so, of Helen would be good. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go for Unexpected Courage onto Urken Brand this turn. So I won't complain about that. We'll put that there. And... Then I will keep a resource for Test of Will. Now, I think I can kill this Spirit of the Wild if I don't attach the Stallion to Jubair. Uh, alternatively, mm. I could put it on Glorfindel. But I think it's better on Jubair at this point. Yeah, it's pretty good in there. 
I don't actually need you there to get a defense buff to defend that though. I just need you to defend the guardian if that's okay. Although yep. that raven spirit is going to come to me. Oh, I can defend and get rid of one of your shadow cards. Mm, if you don't mind. <laughs> I need you to do some serious defending for me. Sorry. It's fine. Okay. Um, it, I, I won't attach it then. I'll see what you do. Okay. Uh, I could do all sorts of things. I could put out my sword so I can get some better willpower, but I'm not sure we need it. I could put out Gimli. I could put out Faramir. Or I could put out Aristor so I could get rid of my steward and draw another card. I could put out my Heir of Mardil and ready Aragorn more often. All of those are good. What do you think? I would probably do Aristor. Because it, he will quest for two, which is helpful, but he's giving you some filtering. So get you to the that remedy faster. I feel like you need remedy. Uh, yeah. That would be nice. I already drew a card with Gildor. All right, that's it for now. Okay. Where's my sneak attack? So shall I put this stallion on to Jubair before we move on? What do you think? We've got... Um, Three defenses of American brand in theory, plus Jubeir. So we oh, we are okay. If we get one more enemy, you could take it, say. Mm -hmm. And one of these yeah, I have can defend it, I'm sure. Like five defenses. Mm. So I will hold it off then, and I'll use it to kill the Spirit okay. of the Wild. Sounds good. Okay, I'll go one. This Loring guy's not going to do anything, but one, two, three. Hit she that is one willpower now. She is, yeah. But I mean, I won't get any value out of her response. One, two, three, um, ten. See what you do. I got five right now. Fifteen versus seven plus the guardian is ten. We, I think we need more than that, don't we? Imrahil, in guardian you go. Is actually four. Is he? Oh what my if, goodness! Oh yeah, yeah. What if you What if you threw Glorfindelin and then readied him with your Imrahil dupe? Um. Yeah, I I sometimes try to hold that dupe just in case he dies. Mm, uh, yeah. But I think I I could probably get away with it because I've got Elven Light and Disco Pass. So if I don't play Tester Will or Hasty Stroke, I can draw that back. So let's do that. So I'll just recalculate minus second. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, fifteen, and you had five, mm -hmm. which is twenty, and there is eleven in there because it's seven plus the Guardian. Should be enough. Hope so. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way the quest is supposed to. Yeah, this is you. more like it. So now <laughs> they are buffing each other. So he's a five and the guardian's a five. So that's plus one and plus five. One, two, three, four, five. Six for one card. And a boar spirit. Uh, one threat. If boar's guardian is in play or in the victory display, each boar enemy gets plus one defense. Uh, so he is going to do that. And at the beginning of the encounter phase, Boar Spirit engages the player who controls key of the boar or is engaged with Boar's Guardian, if able. That's you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you beat it by two, at least. Good. And then, I don't think we want to travel still. Um, no, not really, because that thing's going to hit me for one damage, and uh, that'll kill my stallion, which I don't want. Yeah. Okay, so beginning of the encounter phase, you get a party. Uh oh. I've had enough parties <laughs> for this week. <laughs> What's that evil cackle all about? <laughs> <laughs> you get all these enemies. Plenty of shadow cards to go around. Yeah, wow. Okay. This just got interesting. <laughs> So what should we do first? Uh, well, I don't... I don't know. At least they're all low attack. Mm. We really need to kill a Raven Spirit, I feel like. Big time. We can. No, we can't. Strength of Arms hasn't come up yet. So it's going to be and a the most, little bit of a siege. The most attack I can get to is six. If I do, if, even if I didn't defend with Jubair, I could do one, two, three, four, five, six with Glorfindel. 
So I think I'll just kill the Spirit of the Wild this turn. Yeah, then I can have all five of these next turn. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. Mm. Well, you'll okay, have a Sentinel so from Jubair. We have six. I can do three. With Urkenbrand, you can do one. That's four, so I need to defend with my Knight and my Redwater Sentry. This is all possible still. Mm. I've got Hasty Stroke available. Okay. So Why don't I defend your Raven's Guardian first? Um, okay. Uh, defending player exhausts the character controls. That really sucks. That means I can't. I'm happy to just kill damage that. that. I mean, yeah, it means I can't kill the damage. stupid thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, Wolf Spirit. Yeah, good riddance to that. And then, what if I'm I, actually... what if I defend something on my side with Jubair and get rid of one of these just in case it's the plus ten or something? Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so if I defend this Wimp. And I'll get okay. rid of that there. Which one? His? This one? You want this one? or Because okay. that's, a, that's a four attack, so... Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'll discard that. Is this... Can we see what it was? It's... Ooh, ah, no. not the ten. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, Shadow There's Fisher, another so... Raven Spirit? Wow, there's three of them. That could get ugly. Okay, and then... I can defend another one for you, I think. Hmm. Please do. What's that okay, one? Second enemy gets plus one for each key objective the player has control. So it's going to five. Do you want me so even if we cancelled that, that would be one damage. I can cancel it with hasty stroke if you want to hold the damage off, but maybe I'll keep that for a bad th thing. Like a really bad one. Sure. All right. And then I'll get rid of this one for you. I have no way and to defend that. <laughs> I have nothing to defend it. Okay, I'll defend it. Thanks. <laughs> and then White Knight of the White Tower will just take one damage from this Boar Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then the Spirit of the Wild will hit the Redwater Sentry. Oh, good, not the 10. <laughs> it looked like it. It's the Treasury. <laughs> what was this one here? Nothing. Uh, okay. Um, so I guess now I can ready Glorfindel. So I wonder if I should hold this resource and chuck away Emre Hill. I've got Naria next turn, so that's two resources. Plus these two would be four. So I must have used Arwen already, I suppose. I can't quite remember. <laughs> um, so I'll chuck this away. And do four. Get rid of that. Aragorn can hit the sky for one. Better than none. Yeah. One time the hammer comes off. Galadriel's handmaiden or Naria? Well, Naria is. Mm. That's a good card to draw at this point. I really need to play that ancestral armor, don't I? Yes, you, you probably do. All right, now I'm up to six. That feels better with seven hit points. Um, can we afford to keep Kirdan out of the quest? Probably. We're not going to see another Raven Spirit, are we? Nope, see them all. I think the worst thing we could reveal is probably that forest location that buffs all the threat. But even then, that's it's only plus three. Right. So if I... I'm going to attach this now. Let's get that done. Nice. Before it dies, make some silly mistake. Put him up there because he's basically a hero. So is Glorfindel. Yeah. Um, I might draw a card, Elwyn Light here. He's a 13 threat hero. Oh, there's <laughs> Imrahil again. And I can hold on to this for a second. I'll, I'll do this. So what's our willpower going to be without Kirdan? Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus whatever you've got. I was thinking while you're in five. I think this ally readying might be necessary, don't you? It could be really nice. I have five defenses to take here. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm done. I've tested Will, okay. Hasty Stroke, Dwarven Tomb. Mono Spirit for the win. Yeah, it's a lot of cancellations. It's great. 
So I've got 11, and I'm putting one on that. Almost there. I'm doing five right now. I don't know if Aragorn's going to be really any use for attacking because of all the defending they have to do. Mm -hmm. so I'm what? tempted to just throw him in. We've got 16 versus 10, so we might need him. I'll throw him in. Oh, wait, he's a five. Yeah. Whoa, nine, mm -hmm. 12. I wonder if I counted that last turn. I hope I did. You did. Okay, good. I got seven then. Do we need something else? I mean, I could put Jubea in for two and ready him up with Naria. Do we need that extra? I think we might. It's okay if we fail the quest, really. It's just going to raise our threat, and we're already taking all the enemies anyway, so... Mm, okay. <laughs> Famous last <laughs> words. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. 18 to... Haunted Pillars, uh, when revealed, oh, oh sorry, when faced with the option to travel, players must travel to Haunted Pillars if able. When revealed, either return the active location to the staging area or Haunted Pillars gain Surge. Mm, well, it's gaining Surge, basically, but can we handle another card? I could cancel I it. could, yeah. cancel and hold another card, but we don't know what it is. It's a bit of a sucky cancellation, but I think we might have to, because if it's another forest and it buffs them all, we're probably going to threat out, so I'm going to have to cancel it. I'm okay with that, yeah. <clears throat> so we only get one more. Uh-oh, <laughs> Wolf Spirit. Um, if Wolf's Guardian is in play or in the victory display, each wolf enemy gets plus one attack. So he's hitting for six. Good job that Ancestral Armor hit the table. Mm, for real. Beginning yeah. of the encounter phase, Wolf Spirit engages a player who controls key of the wolf or is engaged with Wolf's Guardian, if able. Um, you have got a lot of defending to do. <laughs> I know. But we cleared... We uh, succeeded by two, it looks like. Mm. Yeah, we did. Yep, got to travel there. No choice. And now they all engage me. Look at that. <laughs> what a shame <laughs> not, not playing pretty. Dunedane. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Well, I can help. Oh, it sounds like there's something major going on outside. I can hear all kinds of sirens. Uh, I could help with Jubeir quite a lot here. So, for example, Great. if I discarded this shadow card, I could take the hit from the wolf spirit. You know, take the two damage. I suppose you want to Urken Brand. You could ready and take only one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, why don't I do that for the first defense? Or maybe we want to ready another ally, don't we? So maybe defend with somebody else first? Yeah, why don't I defend okay. this guy with the Redwater Sentry? Let's look for that. Plus 10. No. <laughs> Okay, so then if I defend him with Jubair and discard that shadow card. What if you defend like this guy with Jubair, then you won't take any damage, and then I can defend this guy with six. Sure, sure. And sure. not take any damage. Okay. Okay. So which shadow card should I discard? Let's get rid of this one. Alright. So I defend the board so... spirit. Um defending player exhausts the character he controls. Boo. Do we need now to cancel have... that? I don't think um, we do. We can survive. Mm. Hopefully the ball kills some stuff next turn. Okay. We have four left. Um, I will... I'll do this. Yeah. So that's easy. I'll d discard one of this guy's shadow cards. And then I'll defend... Him. If attacking enemy is a guardian, it makes an additional attack after this one. Can you take that? I'm going to just cancel that because he's going to get two more shadow cards, which is okay. likely to get something nasty. Oh, that's a plus 10. That is a 10. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, now we have two left. I can ready and take another one. Mm -hmm. Attacking enemy okay. gets plus three defense until the end of the phase. No big deal. So and now it's not ready. Yep. He's five, and I'll ready your knight. Uh, nice. Defend that. If it's a guardian, gets plus two shadow cards. It's not, so it's all good. Well, you've got three attack. Ping. One damage on the spirit. I guess so. What a wall of blokes over there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to put um, two damage on this wolf spirit. Okay. Then I can 
kill him with a Gandalf if I want. So to clarify, the, the first player token goes first and then the time counter goes at the end of the turn. So it looks like you're going to take the one damage. Yeah. Okay. Well, That's the, okay, I guess. Why is the first player token say four? The, the log will tell us what turn it is. Turn six. Yeah, it just went from four to six. Fine. Weird. Okay. All right, so... Strength of arms! Plus, look, I don't think we want this Loring guide. I think we want that ready on Urkenbrand. So I'm going to dump her. I'm going to play this on him. <laughs> I feel like that's the one card that um, <laughs> could possibly save us. And I will draw a card. Another one. That's good. Discard it. Now I could play a Handmaiden or get my Test of Will back. I think getting Test of Will back could be uh, yeah, I pretty agree. key here. So let's do that. I've got one resource left to play it, so I'm finished. Alright. Okay, I could drop a Gandalf, kill one of these guys. That would feel good. Um, but I kind of want to play Strength of Arms. I feel like we could might be kill something if we did that. Let me see. I'd have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attack. Uh, so I could that certainly would kill, kill a Raven Spirit. one Raven Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to draw a card with Gildor. Okay. It's not great if I do that. It's more one. She'll just die if you play her. Your sentry's going to die here. Are you alright with that? No way I can heal him. No, no there isn't. <laughs> that sucks. I'll just chump him probably. <laughs> okay. Um, and you've still got resources to play the strength of arms, so mm -hmm. we're fine. And I'll get a ready out of Aragorn here. For some value of fine. Um, I could discard a card to draw a card. Get rid of the envoy. Oh, no one of these. Okay, they're lining <laughs> up. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go all in then if you're going to strength of arms. One. I can hit that for one. Woohoo. Two, three. Oh, no. I'm going to clear that. So we only quest for two, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> sorry, in quest for one, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should I quest a Jubair? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> what have you got? All right now I got five, uh, seven. Seventeen. It's probably more than enough. Five plus four is nine. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I might leave Gildor out. That only puts no? us up by five. That seems risky. Okay. So seventeen to nine. Then I'll do Steward and Air Mardil with Aragorn. So he's up again. All right. <laughs> Just oh, as I've cleared it. One. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Yep. Might be the same one. We just shuffled in Canada. <laughs> oh. Tangled Woods. While Tangled Woods is in the staging area, each forest location in play gains travel. Exhaust a hero to travel here. This ability does not stack with other copies of Tangled Woods. That's annoying, but we might be able to get away with that with all those readies on Urken Brand. That's or even true. Aragorn, I suppose. Yep. Still, it's only a two, so we make three progress. Yes, we cleared that. Pillars. Can we afford we that? Just... Uh, I think sure. you've, you've got to get rid of it. Yeah. Alright, party time. That's one word for this. <laughs> Alright, two shadows for you. I kind of want to ready Immerhill now. Uh, ready Glow through this. Yeah, do it on that counter phase, and you can do it again if you want. Yeah, just thinking about what well, I don't want to just Although... Imrahil because I might need to take an undefended at some point in this game. Um, Galadriel's handmaiden's a bit of a ah, uh, it's two willpower there for next turn. Yeah, I should see get you later. my sword out next turn. See you later. She's off. She's <laughs> risky anyway. She's only one health. Okay, so combat phase. Yep. Can you like defend for me and quest for me and <laughs> do all the other stuff? All right, um, Urkenbrand, let's just go ahead and defend Raven Guardian. Okay. 
plus two shadow okay. cards for this attack. You want me to cancel it? Uh, sure. There is one that gives him another attack. Oh, Actually, me... don't cancel it. Let's just give him the two shadow cards. All right, okay. If he gets the extra attack, I'll cancel it. Yeah. Uh, nothing? That's fine. <laughs> plus ten, but um, thankfully Urkin Brand's unique. Now I'll get rid of that. Okay. So why don't I defend him with Jubeir and get rid of this? Okay. Yes, please. That dirty looking beast over there. So Jubeir takes no damage here. And then I have three more. And there's four to defend. So I'll defend this guy. With Urkenbrand? Yep. Okay. And I take no damage. Even um, though he's plus one five attack. attack. Each key. Yep. Then I will defend the wolf spirit. Okay. No damage. And then I'll defend boar spirit. Okay, he's super plus tough. Defense. Six defense. Wow. And then I'll see if the red water sentry will get the plus ten. <laughs> spirit of the wild. Um, oh! Ooh, if it destroys a character, remove a time counter from an enemy. If it hey, will. that's good. Hey, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that means so when the last time counter is taken off him, deal one damage to each character drawn by the engaged player. You nincompoop! There we are. <laughs> that means he's going to keep doing that if he comes over here again. Don't like it. All right, um, attack him back then? Yep. Or should we use Kirdan first? That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to get some some value out of this, but I don't think I can do it. Um, depends what we want to kill. I mean, you could put, I could do an attack with Glorfindel, do no damage. What's the point of that? No. Yeah, it's a bit of a fail. <laughs> mm, a little bit, it's because there's so much going on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can ready him while he's ready, so it's not a big deal. Oh, why don't I do strength of arms, and then you can do okay. Kirdan after that. Well, all right. So we ready all allies in play. Yay, they restore readies. <laughs> um, so I'm first player, so I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll I think I can keep him out and kill a Raven Spirit. Nice. And then Naria these guys. And then I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to kill the other Raven Spirit. Awesome. That, that was good. Progress. Yeah, that was good. You got anything you can I do? Two attack. So no. <laughs> well, I don't have to ready Glorfindel. Because I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could ready Glorfindel another way and I could just ready this guy instead and you get one damage oh it's not worth it it's okay no? alright end of the round time counter comes off he comes to me but he doesn't have his pack of jerks light of Valinor and Elra here I think I need that light of Valinor sorry Elra here I do yep. have three copies but we need it All right, I want. You want sneak attack? I do. I gotta draw a card. Gotta get rid of that. Draw another one with her store. Not too bad. Yeah, it helps. Oh That's what I need right now. Actually, I'll do it here. And I'm just going to pay the four right off of Aragorn. I did that in a roundabout way to play another one of these. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, I will play this. Actually, I'll play Gimli instead, same cost. Okay. And I will draw a card. Lindir. Don't see him every day. Mm -mm. I will discard a card. Now, I have got an unexpected courage, but I'm not sure we need it. <laughs> I might just hold the two resources for hasty stroke and test of will. Sounds good to me. Okay. Done then. 
Okay, I'll quest for seven. I got if I need it. I got 15 and I'm hitting this for one progress and this for one progress. I don't know if we need... Well, Gimli could ready. You could hold out Gildor, maybe. So you're doing. If you He's hold out Gildor. Attack, yeah. One, two, three, four. That's 19 versus three, four, five, six, ten. Up by nine seems all right. I think we're due one of those forest locations, but. Let's try it. Whatever. Yeah. All right. So another boar spirit for one. And. Uh, when reeled, remove X time counters from each enemy in play with the time keyword where X is the number of players. Well, that's hitting you, so you tell me if you want to cancel that. If you want me to cancel it, rather. Should that have two on it? Um, or three? I think it should have three. I think it should have three, because he went off last turn. I see what your mission here is. <laughs> well, if yeah, I, I think I made a mistake there. If Can he, I cancel it? Well, now he's got one on him, so he's going to come over to me and do one damage to all of my allies and kill off all the questers, so I think I'd better. Okay. I don't like doing that, but... I think I've got. So that's my good. first test of will, because I dwarf and tune that back. So there's still two more. Mm, it's good. All right. Done. Eleven. Yeah, and Gimli readies. Ha ha. So make eight. So clear the tangle woods. I don't think you need these Lorian guides here. I should swap them out for something else. Yeah, your willpower has been great. You know, not doing anything. Maybe northern trackers would be better. Should we just not travel again? I think so, yeah. I'm going to draw a card. I could take the damage. Um, it's entirely up to you. I wouldn't, personally, because oh. we don't need to. Yeah, I think we're well power is really yeah, fairly under control. I don't think we need to. But this guy's coming down to me. Is he? I can't take him? Wow. This is why it's not good to let one person take them all. Yes, yes. <laughs> Should have given it to Kirdan, sorry. Let me <laughs> let me um kill this Raven guy, so at least that will spread the love. Alright. Um Jubair? Sure. How about on a boar spirit? Mm-hmm. Discard the wolf spirit shadow card. Mm-hmm. And then I have four defenses out of your command. Here it goes. Nothing. Nothing. And I'll discard this one. Then I'll defend him. Then I'll defend Spirit of the Wild. And that was all my defenses. Nice one. Well, I've got some readies for you, so feel free to kill right. stuff. Let's kill something. It takes nine to kill the boar spirit. It takes uh, five to kill the wolf spirit. It'd be nice to kill that wolf spirit, wouldn't it? Mm. You don't want those stacking that attack power, that's for sure. No. Let's do Aragorn and Gildor. That's a total of six. Let's put five here and kill him. And you get a resource from the Sword of Numenor. Wow. Yeah, look at that. And then I have. Do you ready both these guys? Six, I guess basically. Six. Yeah. Twice. So I can kill this guy easy. Spirit and of the then Wild, put yeah. Two damage on those that guy, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they Good get enough. five defense if they stack together. Right. Well, that soft early game has been um, repaired <laughs> by the encounter deck with disgusting mid-game here. Well, at least we dug ourselves out. We had six, seven enemies a minute ago, and now we have three. <laughs> mm. I'm going to play my Stallion. And I'm, I'm sort of tempted on Glorfindel, but I'm wondering if you actually need this on an ally. It would be pretty great on either Gimli or Knight of the White Tower, wouldn't it? Yeah, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. <laughs> go on then, here you go. Since you've defended so valiantly, have that. Because he's four then, and three attack. 
You're welcome to put it on Gimli if you want it on him. It's safer because that shadow won't hit him, but he's we have some good cancellation and shadow removal, so I think that's okay. All right, I'm looking for my sneaky text. Well, you're still your turn. Yeah, I don't have a test of will, so the the treachery I'm worried about cancelling is the one that does damage to allies. So if I play this handmaiden and it comes out, it's a wasted card. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I can do anything. What I could do is play unexpected courage on somebody. Urkenbrand again? <laughs> have it. There you go. Super or defender, the new Baragond. Yeah. And I'm done. You do an Aragorn too to kill more stuff. If you want. It's four attack. I think I do want. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not okay. <laughs> so you got and I got remedy. my remedy finally. I feel it's better. I already drew one, which was second breakfast. I can put this Tome of Atanatar, which is supposed to do a sneak attack, but sneak attack has been stubborn, so. Hmm, what's the topmost attachment in my discard pile? Probably something rubbish. Probably Nori, I don't need it. Yeah. Maybe I'll get something else later. Alright, so are we tread in water still, or should we think about progressing soon? I could probably stick a little bit of damage on the Guardian this turn if I hold some allies back. Yeah, let's try to kill, not progress with more than one generic enemy on the board. And... Yeah. But yeah, let's okay. get some damage on. I'll try and put some damage on the guy. So I've got three, seven, eight, yeah, nine, on, yeah. twelve. How about that? And I'll put one progress on there. Seven, ten in there. I will go for six. Eighteen to ten. That seems okay. Not right. Okay. Oh. There it is. Oh. <laughs> um, deal one damage to each non-unique character in play. If the players control three key objectives, Curse of the Wild gains. Uh, Curse of the Wild Men, sorry, gains surge. Um, we don't, but it's going to kill my guys because you let the guardian <laughs> hit them. So we lose two willpower. Uh, oh, hello. Remove X time counters from each enemy and play with the time keyword where X is the number of players. That's trolling hard, really. I, I think. <laughs> you again. See what I was saying about that copy of Imra Hill in hand? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You better pass me that remedy quick. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> not, not yet, not urgent. Well, no threat added at least. So excess progress doesn't matter. Yep. Um, we might want to think about. Mm, no, we don't want to think about. Do you want to travel? There. No, no, we definitely don't want to go there. Kill you. <laughs> okay, All right. Already Glorfindel. I'll defend for you here. Yeah, I think I can do as much as possible in terms of damage. Um, if the guardian makes an additional attack, you have cancel right just gonna cancel that okay defending player exhausts the character controls uh that's okay because i can just ready him up yeah i'll defend my four defending player exhausts the character <laughs> your knight uh, uh, yeah <laughs> then i'll discard this Okay. And defend him. Nothing. Nothing. I can ready still. Well, um, if I ready your allies, will that help you? Let's see. I need they have four defense. Four and three. He needs seven. He needs nine. Yeah, it would. Okay, so I'm ready in Glorfindel in the combat phase. And then I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three damage? It's going to heal two, but at least it's one wound. <laughs> yeah. Better than nothing. Um, and then ready your guys. Okay, I need seven to kill this. This guy is three, four. And this is. Yeah. Uh, I could have let you three? have one of those readies. Oh, that's all right. Yep. Don't worry. As long as we get rid and of all these. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. He's dead as well, and I get a resource. Oof. Well played. Cleaned it up. Yeah. Let's push through that. That was tough. Before I die. Sneak attack. Sulian and Jubair. I'll get rid of... Well, Jubair's about to die. Um, no, he's got four health, <laughs> so I'll get rid of him. Yeah, those sneak attacks aren't coming. Still nothing. <laughs> but a bunch of resources. Um, I could send you a resource if you want with... Envoy, do you want that? Mm. Let me draw a card first. See what I get. Samgamji. Meh. Okay. Um, ideally, I want some cancel, but I think I can keep a resource for cancellation anyway. So it's fine. Have a remedy. Thank you. Doom. I have no money to pass that back, by the way. That's fine. <laughs> if you pass it to... I'll, what I'll do is I'll just take control of it. I'll pass it to Arwen first, and then I'll pay for a resource and pass it to him so it goes back to where it was. Okay. Uh, I might play a Handmaiden just to do this. Done. Okay. Two willpower. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use Aerostore to get rid of one of these knights of the White Tower to draw a sneak attack. <laughs> yeah. You get it, did you? I did, finally. <laughs> nice. Well, I've got 14 willpower. I have... 3, 7, 10. I'll just so. do 6. Okay, so 20 versus 10. That's nice. Um, okay, attached to the current quest, each non-unique character gets minus 1 willpower. <laughs> that handmaiden, though. <laughs> and... That finally, Ancient Forest. Is. So while it's in the staging area, each forest location in the staging area gets plus one threat and plus three quest points. This ability does not stack with other copies of Ancient Forest. So that adds five to make four progress. Travel there? Definitely. All right, let's kill this dude. Well, do you want to kill him, though? Or do you want to just... Oh, then it'll be me. Yeah, yeah. you need to kill him. <laughs> All right, defense. Nothing and nothing. Ready up, and I want to put six damage on him, so I need to attack him for 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then he'll heal, too, so he'll end with... Oops. So uh, he has seven. Then he'll have, oops, wrong way. Five damage after he gets one time counter off at the end of this round, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Okay, Sam Ganji and. Oh no, sorry, Hasty Stroke and Ravanian Outrider. That Outrider would sure be nice. But Hasty Stroke here, those Guardian enemies coming in next turn. What do you think? I would keep the hasty stroke. Okay, off he goes. Um, I will pay one from Imrahil to send this back to you, I think. Get him healed. Up. I did draw another. Oh, did you? Okay. Well, let me hang on to it for a second then while we figure it out. Yeah. I could play Sam Gamji or Lindir or just <laughs> some ally for willpower. I do have access to um... many sneak attacks. Also, uh, Strength of Arms again. Okay. Well, I'll play an ally then. I will play Sam. Why not? There we are. Get his little chubby face on the table. <laughs> and I think I will call it there. Okay. All right. I think, what do I got? I for my willpower to do something. Or is this a smart idea? One, two, three. Yeah, you might need to make up for some more power because I have to kill this guardian. So I need eight attack at least, which I can do. I could, I could put out Faramir as well, but I think I'll keep resources for sneak attack and strength of arms. All right. So that's it. Okay. Well, I'll do seven, eight, nine. 
See what you've got since you just buffed yourself. I have 13. Uh, these locations aren't buffed anymore, are they? So there's 7 plus 3 is, is 10. And you got 13, so that's 22 versus 10. Um, I'll chuck Law from Dylan just to be absolutely sure. 25. Okay. Let's see what we get. Cursed Burden. Surge. When revealed, attached to a hero with a key objective attached, if able. Counts as a condition attachment with the text limit one per hero. Attached hero cannot commit to the quest and cannot attack or defend against enemies with a trait shared by any of that hero's attached key objectives. Poor Gildor. <laughs> Weird thing about that is he's still on the quest. Mm. He can't commit, but he doesn't say he cannot be committed. Yeah, right? he's, on, he's on there this turn. Right. Um, oh Sacred Forest for three. <laughs> yeah. So that one's Surge. So one, two, three, plus a Wolf Spirit for two. Each Wolf enemy gets plus one attack, so he's six. Well, we got ten, so we're okay. fine. You want to tank that ugly man? Mm-hmm. I think we can progress this turn, can we? Yes, we can. Hopefully whack. Want to okay. kill this guy and then maybe kill another one. Ready up, Glorfindel. Gonna draw a card. If I actually, oh, I should have done that just now, but never mind. Bilbo Baggins, chuck that away. All right, I'll defend for you. Thank you. Um, if, uh -huh. Yeah, you might be cancelling this one, huh? I can cancel that. If it's a guardian, it makes an additional attack. Plus three defense. <laughs> Plus three defense. So will that matter? I can cancel that too. To well, I could cancel this one. So he's going okay. up to eight. So I would need. Uh, I should have just sneak attacked and 11. dodged this attack altogether. Mm. Do you want to? What's he going to do? So he's getting plus three defense. I can phase. cancel it. We want to let them do their attacks and then kill him because we'll progress immediately and then all the guardians come back and we can and put we can some damage on them. Again. Yeah. yeah. So why don't you let him get that plus three defense then? So he goes up to eight okay. defense. And then I'll defend my guy. Uh, nothing. Okay. So he's not yeah. a player card effect. So do you want to Drop an anvil, Gandalf-shaped Gandalf anvil on his head. Boom! Will he get that plus three defense when he comes back? I don't know about that. <laughs> Attacking enemy gets plus three defense till the end of the phase. Hmm. Because in counter card effects, they recalculate in there. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, I think my, my handmaiden was only questing for one, but no big deal. We we did like 10 extra. Um, so 3A, the antlered crown. When revealed, add hallowed circle to the staging area. Reveal each guardian enemy in the victory display, adding them to the staging area. So that hallowed circle, we'll just hover it here, is X threat and 12 progress. Immune to player card effects. X is the number of players in the game. Travel, the players must exhaust three key objectives. Force, after the players travel here, each engaged guardian enemy makes an immediate attack. So... What we're doing now really is ideal, bringing them in in the combat phase after the attacks. Mm -hmm. They won't get attacks, and that means that we can hopefully kill one of them. Yeah. Putting time counters out. Oops. All right, so does your Raven Guardian have that or not? Mm -hmm. I'm happy to play it as if he does, just in case. Okay. You want to do that? Mm -hmm. So I need eight sure. to do any damage. I don't think I could do any, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One damage. I could ready Kyrdan. Uh, I could ready two allies. Um, well, do you need it, though? Might be more helpful if you get it and stick some damage on those guys over there. Yeah, maybe so. Because he's staying engaged with me, so I just. He's going to totally heal up again, uh, too. <laughs> well, I won't do anything then. Stuff it. All Try right. and kill your guys. All right. Uh, let's see if I can kill this wolf guardian. He takes 15 to kill. One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11. Looks like 15 to me. Uh, yeah, board. 15 right there. Yeah. And I get one resource. Owned. And then I can ready Aragorn. You want to ready up some bros, Gandalf and somebody else? Knight of the Gandalf White Tower. Gandalf and Knight of the White Tower. And then I have 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No. Now what if I just did 9, killed this wolf spirit? Mm -hmm. You need 7 for him. Can you just do seven in some way? Probably not. Not really. Okay. And then I could do strength of arms, and I would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, oh, it's not quite enough. No, I have get I have Aragorn, so yeah, I can kill this guy. Okay. So so you... of the Tanatar. Yeah. So you just got to play any. A leadership event card in your discard pile as if it were in your hand. Then place that event on the bottom of your deck. So all my allies ready. Uh, Aragorn is... Oh, and mine. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Fifteen, seventeen. Forge Guardian is dead. Now I'm just stuck with this Raven's Guardian for the next half an hour. <laughs> Because he doesn't come to you anymore. Oh, we didn't do um, 3B, sorry. That's the bit that actually tells you what to do. So each Guardian enemy engages the player who controls the key objective with a trait shared by that enemy. Players cannot defeat the stage unless Hallowed Circle is in the victory display. If the players defeat the stage, they win the game. Uh, I drew Test of Will and Glorfindel. So Glorfindel goes bye-bye. I'll put out my Remedy. I forgot to put it last turn. I'll draw a card. Mm, Rosie. Oh, okay, I'll come back to hand. Um, let's just do more willpower. Are you going to do second breakfast this turn? Oh, no. Okay. You don't. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Then I get sneak attack. Yeah. Uh, I was going to chuck away an attachment, but I haven't actually got one, so forget that. <laughs> I get back my light of Valinor, but whatever. Pay for it. So you're playing sneak, uh, second breakfast, sorry. Yep, played okay. second breakfast, and then I played Tom of the Tanatar out again. Well, I'll get back my light of Valinor then. Might as well chuck it away to get a resource. Uh, what should I play? Got some cancels, so I'll keep two resources. So I've got three available. Let's play Lindir. He hardly ever comes out. One, <laughs> two, three. There we go. Another two willpower. All right. One, two, three. So we got three. Uh, that's Eight. now a, that's a two. Uh, so five, eight, eleven in there. I have a question for anything. Eight. Okay, well, I've got an easy four. I can do more if you want. One, Eleven. Two, Seventeen. Let's do this handmaiden for two. Uh, Linda and Sam. How about that? Maybe I need to keep some attack power back, actually. I'll hold those guys out. We're up by eight. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Spirit, that is a... Ooh, that's a five. And a four. Oh, got lucky there. Only a one. <laughs> one by two. We actually need those as well. We do need one. Shall we go to the um, Hallowed Circle and take the attack? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Because we don't need to kill the Guardian to win, do we? No, we don't. So we exhaust them all but to travel there. Right. And after you travel there, the... I'll spend. Okay, thank you. With who? Oh, him, yeah. <laughs> he defends everything. <laughs> uh, so we're there now, and then these guys come down. Raven guy's going to go to you. Yep. This guy's going to go to me. I don't get two shadow cards anymore, which is kind of nice. Okay, well, I'm going to actually do something, if that's all right. I might defend. Uh, well, you've got Urkenbrand, so I don't need to. 
whatever. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll defend the Raven Spirit first. Oh, you've got a guy engaged with you, but you can defend. Oh, yes, me, me easy, first. Yeah. Easy, easy, Okay, I'll do it. Unexpected Courage for that one. Yep. Nothing. Then I'll do the Raven Spirit. Okay. I'll discard this. And defend him. Thank you. And then I will use Tome of a Tanatar to play Sneak Attack and put four damage on it if you need it. Do you need help on that guy? Um, yeah, go on. I might cock it up. It would be embarrassing if I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I need nine to kill him. So let you do your attack first. Oh, yeah. Gimli should be ready as well. That's right. So, yeah, I have plenty to kill this guy. I need just eat eight and I have tons. And I get a sword resource. This is a good quest for that sword. All these enemies got a lot of health. <laughs> yeah. Was it need five? Mm -hmm. Enemy with five or more print hit points. Yeah, so the Raven Spirit's kind of the one that doesn't do anything. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What did I say? I need nine. <laughs> Lindir coming in for the one. <laughs> to kill the Raven's Guardian. And then I shall ready these two. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kill that. Don't need nice. save to do it. Cleaned it up. Quest through. Let's do it. Aemond and Glorfindel. Okay, well, I'll play Sulian because she can quest for one, two, three. And I'll discard Bilbo. Done. All right, I drew a card, and then I discarded a card to draw a card, and I still didn't get my sneak attack I wanted. So I'll just put out farming fun. Yeah, that's good. I'll go all and in. Also put out this envoy. I put a resource out, which means I can play Rosie just to get more stuff on the board. Quest out time. 7, yep. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 22. 28, 29, wow. 30, 31. <laughs> so that's Faramir and yourself? Yep. Why don't you Faramir and me? <laughs> what are you pressing for, sorry? What are you pressing for? 31. Um, so that seems like 53, yeah? 2, Should 6. Hopes that's enough, otherwise this quest thoroughly broken. Although <laughs> if these forests start stacking up, you never know. I don't think it can... Well, is that a 4? That's a 3, isn't it? And he's a 4. Oh, yeah. 4, 8, 12, 15. Hey, check this out. Kirdan Faramir. Yeah. <laughs> For another go. I'm ready up to you, Bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not that. It's eight more for me or. 61. Good enough. Um, so that puts down a lot of progress on the circle. I think we bulldozed yep. those stones there. <laughs> Drove a road through that circle. And we win. Well, that was a good game. Yeah. Hit that control C. What's that? 11? Yeah, that was a good game. That was. Um, it looked like it was going to be dead easy in the beginning. But then we got swarmed. Yeah, e even easier than the other ones where we'd done it offline. But I, I think I, I'm very curious to see what this is like with four people because um, compared to solo, is is much more manageable with two. So whether yeah. with four, this starts to come into play a bit more, this forest. You get a couple of these out, they will start stacking. Although actually they don't right. stack, they only you can only get one of them. Oh yeah, yeah. So maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. I wouldn't Those want to try this one. Have to travel would be the worst. You probably you really need some location control. Mm. Just some northern trackers would help a lot. But. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's not the case that these decks are particularly strong for this quest. It's just Kaldara is a strong deck anyway. That leadership deck's really good in multiplayer. And I've kind of teched against it a little bit by just running lots of uniques. Right. Um, I think the only change I was I would make though if I was going to take this deck to some other quest is probably put in the Ether Swordsman, 
which I'm not running. Mm. Running these handmaids instead. One hit point. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're, they're still amazing, even with one hit point. But I didn't feel like I but needed not them. Killed. Yeah, not for this one. Good game. Enjoyed that. Um, I'm glad that yeah. it was a bit tougher than the the basically easy ones we've done before. Right. Well, we went through that first couple stages super fast, but then that last stage was a battle. What we'll have to do next is do some Oops. mono tactics and mono lore and see how That'll those two go together. Yeah. That'll be fun. I'd do it. Cool. Well, that can be the next video if you like. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'll see you there then. All right. Cheers Thanks for, for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.